Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, and today I have another really fun kind of treat idea for you. So this is just a really simple little pocket. It's perfect to hold a little Ghirardelli chocolate. I happen to find the pink one, the dark chocolate raspberry. I think the color works really nicely with the rest of the colors that are going on on the treat. And who doesn't love chocolate, right? So let me go ahead and get started kind of telling you guys about everything. Um, simple, you can obviously change up the colors, kind of the theme for whatever, maybe a little party favor, you know, that you might need. Um, you know, change up your designer series paper, the sentiment, and you can use these for any occasion you can think of, basically. So I wanna show you guys, cause I love, this um, project uses a bunch of product from that floral romance suite. This is our Stampin' Up! Occasions or kind of spring catalog that came out in January. So it's been out for a little while. Everything in here is uh, technically available until May 31st. Our retiring lists are gonna come out in April. That's not for a little bit, but then items kind of go on a while supplies last basis. So it's always good if you're interested in getting something from the catalog, go ahead and order it as soon as you can. Right now it's celebration too, so if you spend $50, you can get a level one free celebration item, or if you spend $100, you can get a level two free celebration item. So great time to order. There's no worry on things being sold out at this point. Um, so yeah, okay, so let me show you guys, because I love this floral romance suite. You can see all of the beautiful projects. It is very kind of wedding oriented, I guess I would say, maybe wedding and anniversary, but I made these treats actually for everyone that is coming to my bingo event or for my online bingo event, and then I'm making them for my club members as well. So you can use these products for lots of different occasions. Um, we are using, this is the Floral Romance, the Specialty Designer Series paper. There is paper that is two-sided, like our regular Designer Series paper, and then there is some really pretty vellum that's kind of uh, see-through, and I'm gonna show you guys some of that. We are also using, I love, I've been just kind of dying to get to play with those little floral romance seals. I don't know why I was just so excited about those, but I was, I think because they are kind of like a vintage, they've got like a vintage charm to them. So yeah, we're using that floral, the floral romance seals. And then I didn't even bring it over here now that I'm thinking about it, but I am going to find the stamp set. And I'm flipping, here we go, the Incredible Like You. I love this stamp set too. And I, I'm really enjoying any stamp set that has sentiments that I don't have already. For example, the I Just Adore You. I, I love that sentiment because obviously I adore all of my customers and my club members, so it was a fun little sentiment to put on the treat. So great stamp set, the Incredible Like You stamp set that's also in the Occasions catalog. If you are missing any of this information, I will give you item codes to everything that we are using um, in the details to the YouTube video. So do not worry, you don't need to take any notes. When you're done watching the video, just um, look below the video in those details. Um, you probably have to click on the click or see more, I think it is, and I'll give you item codes for everything so that you can get your order in without any trouble. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We have a piece, let me give you measurements. The only measurement that you need is this piece of cardstock, or actually designer series paper, that measures five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Everything else we're just kind of punching and stamping and so on. So <clears throat> I'm gonna use my envelope punch board, and we are actually working with the measurements for a little three by three size card. So it tells me to cut my paper at five and a quarter by five and a quarter, and then I'm gonna score it at two and five eighth inches. Now I know you guys cannot read this at all. Um, honestly, I can barely read it, so I'm gonna get my little glasses out right here so I can try to find my two and five eighths across the top here. So the idea is you line up your paper at two and five eighth inches and then you punch it and then you score it with our envelope punch board. Now, typically you wanna flip it so that the little, this is called a score guide, that little piece right there lines up with the score mark that you just made. Because this is a square piece of paper, it ends up back at two and five eighth inches. That is not necessarily the case um, if you're doing a rectangular size envelope. You'll be, you know, it'll be um, same on two sides and same on two sides, but this one is the same on all four sides. So two and five eighth inches, punch and score. So super simple. You can get four 
of these little treat envelopes out of one piece of designer series paper. So that's great too. You can make a bunch of them. Um, you know, kind of a good impact with very little uh, designer series paper if you're a hoarder of designer series paper, right? Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna fold up along the one score line and then fold in along two of our score lines, right? And that, oops, maybe I didn't score that very well. That looks a little bit funny, doesn't it? Okay, so we're gonna fix that. There we go. I feel like that's a little bit wiggly. Sorry, guys, I'm not sure if something's a little bit loose there. I hate to try to futz with it now, um, so I'm just gonna be really gentle. So let's go ahead, we're gonna put our little treat envelope together. I am using, I usually cheat when I'm not doing a video and I use my fast fuse because I still have some of that left. But I thought I'd probably better show you if you don't have tear, or, uh, fast fuse, how you can use your tear and tape, which is an awesome alternative as well. So we're just gonna lay that down right on there. And I love how you just kind of put that right down on there and tear and then peel it right off. And it's super sticky too. So we're gonna do that on that side and then we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side, okay? Super simple, easy to work with. Actually, it's probably easier to work with than the tear or than the um, fast fuse. People kind of, that was a little bit futzy for people. So, okay, there is our envelope. Now we are gonna add just a little strip of, this is my Pear Pizzazz Shimmer Ribbon. And basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of wrap this right around the back there and it doesn't even have to come all the way around because you're going to cover it up with um, everything that we put on the front of it so now let's see where is my snail I'm going to use um, a bunch of snail adhesive just across there and I just kind of want to line this up and then tack it down right in the middle there okay so I'm going to press really firmly to make sure that stays well right now we are going to do a little bit of stamping and punching. So I just have a piece of Whisper White cardstock and my Mossy Meadow ink. I'm going to stamp my sentiment, the I just adore you. Okay, so nice, easy, as always, tap, tap, tap. We're going to press straight down and lift straight up. And then I'm going to stamp that beautiful flower rose is it a rose i don't know it might be a rose so it's a two-stop stamp so i'm going to use i use actually powder pink instead of petal pink i know most everything says petal pink coordinates with this suite but i i wanted it to be a little bit lighter it was a little bit too peachy for me the petal pink was so again i used powder pink so this is just kind of a nice do you see how pretty that is but then watch we're just going to add a little bit of pink shading over top of that and it makes it even more spectacular and that's all the stamping that you do so simple little treat i'm going to use my pretty label punch and i'm just going to kind of punch this out i'm trying to get my flower kind of lined up with the curves in there i liked how that looked too okay and then we need just this is i think uh classic label punch i'll know the exact name when i put the details and item codes in but i believe it's a classic label punch this is just a strip of sahara sand cardstock and we're just going to punch a little label to kind of layer back behind there then and i love just using punches too we are going to punch out of mossy meadow cardstock just a couple of our little green leaves so i'm going to get a couple of those and then last with our four petal flower punch we are and this is the vellum that is in that floral romance designer series paper do you see so kind of a really pretty floral pattern but it's see-through so when you put a color behind it it kind of pops behind there so i love that you can use it just straight as it is or put a pretty Kind of color behind it too and we're going to punch three of these leaves or flowers i guess i should say the four petal flower okay now we just have to kind of build everything here so where are my dimensionals they are right here um let's see we're going to actually just add a good amount of adhesive oops my snail's being funny there we go so we're going to put this right on our little treat envelope okay then we are going to put some dimensionals behind our I just adore you sentiment, right? 
and we're gonna pop that guy right on there like that. Now I am gonna add, I'm gonna use the back of my, <laughs> I forgot my silicone craft sheet, so I love to use this as my little cheater silicone craft sheet, just so we don't get adhesive all over our work surface. So I just put up a little bit of adhesive on the leaves and I'm kind of tucking them back behind there, right? And then, again, we're gonna add some adhesive to a couple of our flowers. Oops, so we're gonna layer one, and then another, and another. And I'm just kind of trying to spread them out so it looks like a really pretty flower when you're done there, right? Then, I'm kind of holding in the center and I just wanna curl these up a little bit. And they're really kind of pliable, that vellum makes them a little bit easier to work with. And then I'm trying to remember, nope, I did not, just, I couldn't remember if I, if I used a um, dimensional behind there, but I did not. I think because I don't want it to stick up too much, right? So we're gonna put that right there because then my most favorite part, the floral romance seals. We are gonna add one of these. You get, looks like 12 of them in a package and they already have adhesive. Can you guys kind of see? the huge glue dot back there, so you don't need any more adhesive. And then you do want to press pretty firmly, and I even kind of tried to curl these little flower petals up a little bit more around my floral romance seal. And that is it. Then I'm gonna steal the chocolate out of here, and basically you just slip that right in there, and that is your adorable little I just adore you treat, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed that project. Um, let's see what I want to tell you guys about. Make sure if you are interested in ordering any of the products to make this project, super cute, simple little treat, right? Go to gatheringinspiration.com and grab the host code that's on my blog on the right-hand side toolbar because when you put in an order of at least $50 and use that host code from gatheringinspiration.com, I always send you a fun, free embellishment. A good example might be these floral romance seals. Every month I pick something new and send these out with my thank you card with at least a $50 order. You can shop right online at my Stampin' Up! website at amysuzanne.stampinup.net. And then I wanna make sure everybody knows that I have started doing, actually for about a year now, we've been doing Facebook Live videos on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. So if you haven't joined us for a Facebook Live video, do that Fridays at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. If you can't catch the live video, it's always there on the Facebook group. I also um, upload that video right here to YouTube, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. You'll never miss out on any of these stamping tutorial videos or my Facebook Live videos. Um, so thanks so much for watching today. I hope everybody has a great day and that you are inspired and we'll see you soon. Bye everybody.